uh, part of our instructions for our computer desk, which is probably our most difficult drawing. And the purpose of this is to just give you guys an idea of how to go about constructing this. One of the things that you won't hear any of in this particular uh, set of instructions are the correct sizes of things, which you will definitely need to have in your drawing. Uh, and that's why you all have the uh, tape measures to help you do that. This is just to give you a basic idea of the process. And the process is going to, of course, start with a rectangle for the top of our table. And again, you'll be expected to make this rectangle to the correct size. And you'll notice one of our problems is our rectangle, of course, has right angle edges, and we need these to be curved edges. So the very first thing we need to do on our drawing is we need to set up some guides to help us make those corners. And you'll need to make the appropriate measurements here. And you'll have to figure out how to do that. But you're going to want to make a guide off of every side of the table. And once you've got that guide on the sides of the table, then you can zoom into the corner that you want to curve. You can grab the curve tool and you can go to each side and then you move that in until it gives you the tangent. Click, grab your eraser and just say, go away. And you do that to all four corners. Corners done. Then you can go ahead and come to the edit and just say delete guide so you don't get a lot of those noise in your drawing. And we've also got a couple holes in this that we need to do. And again, you're going to have to make some exact measurements, but I'll give you the idea. You make a measurement to locate exactly where these holes are. You're going to have to make some brackets to make them off of. And again, correct measurements required. But once you've got those, now you have a couple points where you can start your cutouts. So you can simply come to where these meet. And you can make a cutout like this, and so on. And of course, you'll be making these two correct sizes. And then you just select and delete. And you can see we've got the holes in there. Again, go back, get rid of the guides, and we're ready to go. Now, you're going to have a little bit more to do on these because you can see they've got some uh, recesses on there that you'll need to put in there. But the final thing you want to do on your desktop, actually, I don't want to say the final thing. There's one more very important thing. But the final thing we're going to do is we're going to push pull it so it is the correct thickness. And then the actual final thing we're going to do, which is very important, is to triple click it and make this whole thing a group. Very, very important step. Take the leg of the chair. And the leg of the chair can be very, very tricky because SketchUp, you need to draw it to where SketchUp knows where it's at. And what you'll notice as we draw this is when we start drawing it, it won't look like the leg to start with. So just bear with me on this. But you can see the first thing I've done is put a couple of guidelines in the drawing. And this one goes right through the center. And this one's the inset of where the leg is off the table. You'll need to make that measurement. And then I've made a rectangle the size of the table leg right there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and pull this, and I'm going to go ahead and get push-pull tool. Now that I've got that marked, and I'm just going to push this all the way down, and this is going to be our leg. And again, you're going to notice that this does not look a lot like the leg of our table at this point, but it will. And of course, you'll want to have that leg be the correct dimensions. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to measure how far down this leg really is where it ends because we know it doesn't attach all the way to the table. Once I've got that measurement, I'm going to come here, I'm going to make a mark, and I'm going to pull that down to that distance. And I'm going to take my line tool and I'm going to draw what I'm going to call a cut line and it's going to go all the way around this leg. So I'm going to go on all three sides of it and make my cut line. I'm going to go and take out this particular guide so that we can see what I did. I just explained to make this cut line, and I said to go all the way around, and there's what it looks like when it goes all the way around. You can see I've extended that line all the way around my table. Now, the reason I call it a cut line is because we're going to use that line to cut out this part of the leg because we can see that the leg doesn't go all the way up to the table like this. All we got to do is get the eraser out and simply get rid of that. And we'll come up and get rid of this a little bit later. And now all of a sudden it's starting to look a little bit more like our leg because it's not attached. Now the next part we get to use a very neat tool called Follow Me. It works very, very well. 
Um, but the first thing we need to do is we need to make a measurement on these pieces that come down and find out what the size of the rectangle is of that leg. And once you find that dimension, you're going to come draw it right on this leg right here. And it doesn't come quite to the top. You guys can look under the table, see what I mean. And we'll go ahead and make this whatever the correct dimension would be. Now I've got to make a couple other lines too as well on the top of the table so I know how to attach these. And again, you will need to be making all the correct measurements here. But I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to make a line coming off the cross the top of the table about there. And I'll make another one that comes right to about there. Now I'm going to start making this curved part of the leg. And I use a tool called Follow Me for that. Some of you guys have messed with that already. I'm going to go ahead and take my pencil or my line tool and put it right there. And I'm going to draw a line and I'm going to go a little bit past this because our curve starts right there. So I need to come out to about here. I'm going to click and then I'm going to extend this line down to this corner right here. And I get this and I get this kind of line right here. Now this still is not going to work for this piece. So I've got to come in here and zoom in and I'm going to get my curve tool. I'm going to start right here and I'm going to come to this vertice and I'm going to come down and tell that that turns colors and tells me that it is an equal distance off both sides right there. And then I'm going to come up with my curve tool and a little tricky and I'm going to make that curve like that. And now I'm going to get my erase tool and I am going to take that part out. Now we have a nice curved line and here's where follow me really works neat. I'm going to get my select tool and I'm going to select the line but notice it doesn't select the whole thing because it SketchUp sees this as three entities. So I'm going to hold my shift key and I'm going to select this whole thing and then I'm going to go grab follow me and now I'm going to hit that and lo and behold I get that nice curved leg and I can deal with this part that's not connected simply by connecting these vertices and coming back and get rid of the, getting rid of these lines that don't exist and now I have that leg that curved part of the leg completed okay so I've obviously added a couple things of, to this drawing that I haven't shown you how to do, but I think that you will all be able to figure that out on your own. But I want to explain what they are. First of all, I came in here and I added this round piece at the top, which I think all of you know how to use the tools. You use the offset tool and the like for that. And then I also did the same thing down at the bottom. You'll notice that I've used the offset tool to make a little bit of an inset there because this is how we slide and we change the height of the table. So I'm gonna let you guys figure out how to do that. I think you guys know how to do that, but to start, once you're at this point, now we wanna go ahead and get our friend push-pull again, and we wanna push-pull this down, and we wanna pull this down to the height of the table. And once we've got that done, then we can go ahead and come on this side and measure the, on one side, we can go ahead and make the measurement of the rectangle of the leg that sticks out. And again, make the correct measurement for this is just for the purpose of showing how to do it. You can make that. We can come out and then we can again push pull this out to its correct length so that you have that the correct size. And again, as I've said repeatedly, none of my dimensions are actually correct. You'll want to put all the dimensions on it and you're going to want to put another round cap on the edge here using much of the same things you do here. And it's not quite exactly the same, but again, I'm gonna let you figure that out. But notice what we've done is we've drawn this so that SketchUp knows where the leg is relative to the table. And I've only done one side of the leg. And you'll find out what to do for the other part of the leg when you get to our second movie, uh, which is the part two of making the uh, table. So that's it for this part. We'll have to dig up part two to, to continue on.